Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. I'm getting ready to do a pretty big painting on three panels and I'm just going to show you my setup. I'm just going to put tilt this down a little bit here. So I have a spinner. It's just a cake spinner. Um, this, it got a lot of paint on it a bunch of times and I just sometimes I just put paper on it to to make it dry and it, it sticks to it. So put that in the center. I am going to use a nice big solid board and I make sure that it is level and even. So I'm gonna be able to spin it around. And I have three canvases here. They're 30 by 15, really, I think it's pretty big. And I taped, I taped everything off and covered it in paper because I don't want it to be a complete mess when I'm done. So there'll be three. This is the biggest board I have, so it's gonna have to do. And I think I'm actually gonna go this way. Anyway, I'll figure that out in a second. But I have these clips. These clamps that I got from uh, Canadian Tire. They're pretty awesome. I think I'll do just one at a time. It's falling on me here. So, I wish they were a little bit bigger, but it is what it is, and they hold really good. So just make sure it stays on the wood part and doesn't touch the canvas because you don't want it to poke and make a little. A weird impression there. This is gonna let me do this all together and then I can take it apart at the end and then I tilt each one slightly and then let let the paint run over the side. And then it looks awesome. I don't know if they can see better here, but of course I'm left-handed, so I'm going to block it. These canvases are really nice. I'll try it with my other hand. <laughs> So that you have to feel like you're putting a puzzle together later. So that's my setup. Um, so this is going to be awesome. It's a little high, maybe, but um, it's all I have with the board. If the board was was um, wasn't as as big, I might be able to let them hang over the edge. But this is what I have, and then it allows me to spin it freely because of this height. I am going to move everything out of the way that I don't want to get covered in paint because it's, it's going to go everywhere <laughs> if I spin. And that's it. I think what I'm actually going to do, um, what I'll do, let's try to do it so you can see it. I'm going to use cups and I'm going to sit them underneath. canvas you want it under the, the, the wood part of it because you don't want to push on that canvas and ruin it so I'm gonna put a bunch under there this is probably so loud 
so sorry. I'm just going to show you. Right, so I'm just I'm just sitting the cups underneath there along the uh, the support of the canvas, and then what I do is to tilt these out slightly, and the weight will come down on the cups, and then it's completely supported so that when I take it apart, the cups are already there to hold. I'm kind of hoping my boyfriend will watch this video and then um, he'll see how much I'm struggling and he'll make me something really cool. Hint, hint. <laughs> Love you. So this is completely supported and I can spin it all I want and there's no fear of anything coming apart. And now the fun part is adding the paint. See you soon. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you my colors first. Uh, titanium white. Uh, this is like a sand color I mixed up myself with titanium white, uh, a little bit of light brown and yellow, gold, silver, um, you know, aqua, turquoise. These two colors I mixed up myself too. A um, few different blues, uh, magenta and black. I'm gonna do a black base. Okay, so I am really liking this. I think it um, it's a good balance of color and in terms of light and dark. The black gives it some depth. Um, I mean, it could be a little more black throughout maybe, but I don't want to try to add any now and ruin the whole thing. The amount of black that there is balanced. The center pulls everything together. It has like a flow to it. I think it's good. I'm going to 
separate these panels. Okay. I moved all my paint out of the way. Now, hopefully I can do this without dropping anything. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to jam a cup under the end here. Maybe two. Because I don't want that to tip when I take this one off the side. I have that supported, so I'm going to unclip. I'm going to have to coat the edge. I'm going to try to show you what I'm doing. I just want to make sure that it's not running too much when you tip it like that. And then I'm just that black paint right up to the color just to pull it down do this over here because I don't care. Let's go for a close-up. I think I put these back together, right? <laughs> mm. I really like the colors. There's so much detail. Like the cells that come out in this thing. There is no silicone in this. But I really feel like there's, the colors really go well together and it's really even in terms of light versus dark colors. Just kind of, the middle kind of pulls everything together. I love the flow. So 
So let's see when it dries. Hopefully nothing changes too much.